Look, y'all. Check this out, man. So, look. Just the other day, 6 9 ran up on Meek Mill. He ran up on Meek like he wanted to fight or something, but he had his camera in his hand, and he was recording the whole time, and it seems to be that he wanted some smoke with Meek Mill, man. That's a fact, you nigga. That's a fact, you nigga. And you with security. This is security. That's security, you nigga. And then here go what 6 9 say. He say, stop letting these rappers lie to you. They too tough for security and running around with police. This is how you expose these fake gangsters. This nigga is pussy clown. So look, man, check this out, man. So when this shit played out, man, I looked at this shit. Like, I'm like, man, what the fuck? What the fuck is going on, man? The moment I would have seen that nigga 6 9 I would have fucked around, you know, had the little eye contact when I noticed, like, damn, that's 6 9 I would have put my head down, put my, my my mask over my nose correctly, and walked away. If he would have started charging to me, I would have ran away. <laughs> Do you hear me? I would have ran away, man. And then I heard this nigga Wack 100 come out, right? And basically, you know, on 6 9 side and said, you know, 6 9 up one, you know. On, on, on niggas and shit like that because Meek Mill was supposed to punch that nigga out. So I, I said, man, what the fuck is wrong with these niggas, man? And I heard a lot of niggas say, I water. I did. They say, I water. <laughs> I water. <laughs> I water. I would have beat the fuck out of 6 9 I would have did this or I would have did that. Look, man. If you, if you fucking that tough, bro, <laughs> I'm going to just tell y'all something, man. Stay away from tough niggas, man. Tough niggas is always die. You heard me? The tough niggas always die. And they never the ones that get the money. So just, 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 you know, don't be a tough guy, man. It's like niggas ain't got no on or off button. They just gangster all day. Like, how can you be gangster all day? It's niggas, niggas out here said they would have beat the fuck out of 6 9 Or they would have did whatever it was. You know what I'm saying? To fuck up 6 9 And what's crazy to me is, like, a lot of niggas saying this shit. You might as well go around punching, you know what I'm saying? Detectives and, 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 and undercover cops and shit like that. And let's see where that's gonna land you. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna be dead in no time, bro. The moment Meek Mill would have put his hands on 6 9 if he ain't get smoked, <laughs> if he ain't get smoked by one of the police niggas around him, he was definitely going to jail, man. And I don't know about niggas, but I love my freedom, man. I like to wake up in the morning, I like to eat French toast sticks. You know what I'm saying? With the syrup, a lot of syrup on the plate. So I dip my French toast sticks on, on the plate when I ain't got no syrup on them. <laughs> and, shit like, and shit like that. You heard me? I, I like to wake up on my motherfucking soft-ass mattress with the, with, the, with the suede covers and shit. You know what I'm saying? Jail is not cool, my nigga. I heard some niggas say, man, well, fuck jail, nigga. I'll go sit in that motherfucker. <laughs> That's because he already living somewhere that's similar to jail. You hear me? He ain't living good, bro. Meek Mill would have been the dumbest nigga in the world if he would have did something 6 9 You hear me? The moment he would have did something 6 9 and got smoked or got locked up, niggas was like, Meek Mill, dumb as fuck, man. Dumb ass. Got all that money. Why he ain't just have a nigga? 
I already know how niggas is, man. Don't listen, niggas, y'all. Don't don't do, <laughs> don't don't be one of these tough guys, man. Never be too tough for you. I'm too tough for myself. <laughs> don't be too tough for yourself, bro. Just be you. The moment I would have seen that nigga six nine, man, I would have went the other way, man. You hear me? Because if you still still a candy bar at the store, nigga, he gonna tell on it. There ain't no point, bro. You get no brownie points for beating up a nigga like 6 9 If you was to happen to beat the nigga up and nothing bad don't happen to you, you hear me? And you beat the nigga up, you don't get no points for that shit. No points, man. You know, my favorite type of niggas to beef with was, was, was the bully type niggas. You don't get no fucking points for beating up a nigga like 6 9 You supposed to be able to beat him up there. You get nothing for that, bro. Whatever is going to happen to 6 9 that he going to get for his karma for telling on all them niggas, man, doing all that fuck shit he did, it's going to happen to him. Just let God handle that shit. You know what I'm saying? Because if you a nigga that a lot of people depend on, you know what I'm saying? Your kid might need some motherfucking, uh, what, some fucking oatmeal or some shit from the store, Similac. I mean, bro. Your mama might need some gas money, help get the fucking uh, snow off the top of her car because it's uh, blizzards and shit outside, and your bitch ass in jail because you wanted to smack Takashi 6 9 and beat him up. <laughs> Goofy shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? When people depend on you, man, you don't do dumb shit like that, man. Don't be, don't be these niggas that's out here saying, I water, nigga, I water. <laughs> yeah, my shit clicked out my phone, man. But yeah, man, don't be like these bitch ass niggas, man. Talking about what the fuck they woulda, shoulda did, man. Stay on the grind, man. Stay focused, man. A nigga like Takashi Six Nine is not worth your freedom. It ain't worth the likes on Instagram that you gonna get. That shit ain't worth shit, bro. It ain't worth shit, man. You get nothing for that, man. You don't get no checks. You don't get nothing but shot in your face by one of them security niggas. Post slash Navy SEAL, Navy SEAL <laughs> Team 4. Or, you know, or beat the fuck down. You hear me? You fuck around beat a nigga in birth. So you getting beat up by his uh, police officers and shit. Lock you up, knock your teeth out, and all that shit, man. Like, don't do it, bro. Meek Mill, I'm glad Meek Mill ain't bite the bait. Don't listen to niggas like Wack 100. See, them, that's them fake OG niggas, man. That's why I be telling y'all, man. But watch out for fake OGs, man. Because these fake old-ass niggas talking about what the fuck you get your honor or, or, you know, points for. Nigga, ain't no glory in that shit, man. You don't get nothing out of beating up a nigga like 6 9 man. Just walk. Only thing Meek Mill did wrong was stay there for four, four, five more seconds. He should have walked away instantly. You hear me? You hear me? Because check this out. If Meek Mill would have put his hands on that nigga, right? Not only would he be, would have been the stupidest nigga on earth, right? He would have been the softest rapper on earth also because the moment. Him and Nicki Minaj, do, do y'all remember that shit where him, Nicki Minaj, and her and her new boyfriend or husband or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Do y'all remember them being in a store? I forgot. Let me see if I can find it. See, real quick. Stay right here. You feel me? Let's see. Meek Mill versus Nicki Minaj. Here it go. You heard me. So this, 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 this is this Nicki Minaj. This logo was done by a top freelancer on Fiverr. This is Nicki Minaj's fucking husband or whatever the fuck. Look at this shit. It's Nicki Minaj, her fucking uh, husband and her, and Meek Mill arguing with that here, right? Do one to fight Meek Mill and shit, right? That's me. Arguing with the husband somewhere. 
He said, you can't talk to me one-on-one. -on -one. And dude called him a pussy. See, dude want to fight Meek Mill, right? Meek Mill, like, I don't do no phase and all this type shit, right? Which is cool. I understand. You heard me? That didn't go down. But then you run into a nigga like Takashi 6 9 and you punch him in his mouth. That would be the most bitch-ass shit ever. So, I'm glad Meek Mill ain't fought for that trap. And ain't go to jail because the nigga almost got 10 years for a fucking bike. Riding and hitting a wheelie on a bike. So, imagine how much you time you would have you would have got 25 of life for this shit. <laughs> for putting your hands on, uh, what's the boy in that? The, the rat nigga. You would have got 25 of life for that shit. Because you almost got 10 for the bike. So, you would have got dug. 25. You would have got life for fucking around Takashi because he's a part of the government, niggas. You heard me? The nigga is a part of the government. He work with the government, which means he are, he is one of them. So he make a call, he get your ass took off. <laughs> you go to jail. You heard me? So stay away from that nigga, man. Don't listen to the old niggas out here, y'all. I trust, man. Y'all hit that like button, man. Hit that like button, y'all, before y'all get out of here, man. And listen to me, man. Don't listen to these old-ass, goofy-ass dudes, man, who telling y'all y'all should have did, he should have did this, or he should have did. Fuck that, nigga. Walk the other way. Get away from that nigga, man. Say, I don't want no smoke. It's okay to say I don't want no smoke sometimes. Niggas always want to be the tough guy shit. Remember what I said earlier. Tough niggas always die first. You heard me? <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm out, man. Y'all hit that like button, man. Subscribe to the channel. You ain't already subscribed. I'm out. Peace.